We're here in Charlotte at the Little Rock Cultural We're outside Center, the Little Rock where community Cultural organizers Center are meeting Charlotte, to discuss North today's Carolina, conviction where are of Officer Stevenson first for the homicide killing of, of an unarmed woman last year. An Sentencing is expected and later this number week. Of charges Meanwhile, former Patrolman Stevenson is being held at an undisclosed non-judicial location. Reporting for News for Charlotte, this is Veronica Jones. They're to discuss the first conviction You're late. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, thanks for the time. Don't thank me. Thank Ms. Zakin. Ms. Z His foster mother. Not exactly a match made in heaven. <laughs> she studied to be a chef <laughs> this week. Last week she was a DJ. Week before that she was training fucking dogs. But she was on time. Look here. You got 10 minutes until Mary shows up, but I doubt that. So if he's not feeling you in there, we're done. You feel me? Tyler, this is Mr. Stevens. He's the... Uh... Please, uh, allow me. It's, a, it's an honor to meet you, young man. I, I, do you know who I am? Yeah, Mr. Keenan said you wanted to talk to me. I, uh, I, I wanted to talk, I... Yeah, and? I, I wanted to meet with you in person. You got that far, now what? I, my, my son, Michael, he, he, he's the... He was the he one was, who killed my mother. Yeah, he, he pulled the trigger, yes. He, he, he pulled the trigger and killed your mom. And then he killed himself. And it was in all the newspapers and you wound up in foster care. Yeah, so? Young man, I, I know how it hurts. I still feel the pain myself. I feel it every day. I, I'm here because I... Because I want to make it less. I... You can't do that. You can't bring her back. No, no, that, that's not what I said. That's not what I meant. I... Yeah, well, it's the only way to make it hurt less. So what, you lost your son? I lost my mother. She was everything to me. We didn't have much, but she still taught me to stand up for myself. And she died trying to stand up for herself. What do you know about that? Did you grow up scared of cops? Hey, hey, that's enough. I told you about this, didn't I? Now, Tyler! Dinner! I called you three times already! What is this? It's rice and beans. I think it's getting better. No, it's not. I'm going to the store. No, you're not. You cannot leave this house without my permission. Tyler, come back. Tyler, stop. You're not allowed what are you to doing? leave this Get house off me, without lady. my permission, young man. Oh my gosh. Listen to me, Tyler. You're at an age where you have to decide whether you're going to love people or hate people. Well, you're making that pretty hard, Mr. Kim. I never wanted him to be a cop. Then you shouldn't have let him. 
You're right. <laughs> I, I thought maybe he'd be creative like me, or, or analytic like his mom. But he, he was just, just difficult. <laughs> he always forged his own steel, you know. And he used to fight with his mom and make her cry. When he was 15, he just left. 15? <laughs> Can you imagine that? No, I can't. Yeah. It seemed like he just never learned how to love. And when he came back, he was a cop. Sometimes I used to think he did that just to spite me. <laughs> it seems like there's a time it comes in a person's life when they have to choose. We loved him so much. So much. Like you loved your mother. And now he... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about your son. <laughs> <laughs>